Finding the sum of a finite geometric sequence. Not a problem. Now, there's two uh, formulas to find sums of geometric sequences uh, because there's the finite one and then there's the infinite one. Uh, the finite one is the ugly one. Uh, you take the first term, multiply it by 1 minus the rate, raised to the n, um, divided by 1 minus r, and the n is the number of terms. So that's the sum of the number of terms. There's an infinite one. I'll go ahead and write that one up as well, uh, even though this one is not infinite. Now, for the infinite one, uh, the r has to be has to be between negative 1 and positive 1. So if we're looking at a number line, uh, it could be as long as r is in here, in this range, then you can add up the infinite uh, geometric sequence. And that's only because if an r is one of those, which is pretty much a fraction, a fraction that is not improper. Uh, if uh, if a fr if r is one of those, then uh, the the number keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller in a sequence. So as you go to each sequence that or each number in your sequence that you're adding together, each of these numbers is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, which eventually um, going away. Which is why we're able to uh, add them up, which is kind of weird. Uh, now the book says it has to be less than uh, one. The absolute value of r has to be less than one, which is the same as what this says up here. And uh, the formula is simply a sub one, which is the first term divided by one minus the rate. Okay, that would be the sum of an infinite uh, geometric sequence. But that's not what we're using right now. Okay, we're using this guy right now because we have a finite geometric sequence. Uh, what we're going to need is we're going to need the first term. <clears throat> now, in this case, if we plug in zero, um, so it would be 10 times 2 over 3 raised to the 0 minus 1. Our first term is going to be equal to 10 um, times 2 over 3 raised to the negative 1. That's supposed to be 3. And that negative 1 will flip the fraction to be 10 uh, times 3 over 2. And then uh, when we multiply that, we'll get 30 divided by 2, which is 15. And so um, our first term is 15. And then um, we multiply this times 1 minus r uh, raised to the n. Now in this case, we have 51 terms divided by 1 minus r. Our r is 2 over 3. And there you go. Now, why is it 51 terms? That might be a question. That's because you have to count the zero as one of the terms. If n was equal to one, meaning that the first number that you plug in is one, then um, then there would be exactly 50 terms. We can just obey that top number right there. Um, but because we're starting at zero, we have to go 50 plus the, the zero term, and so it'd be 51. Um, so now we have to simplify this, which is pretty dang gnarly. I would just plug this into a calculator. Just remember when you're plugging this into a calculator, whenever you have addition or subtraction in the numerator or denominator, you need to give them their own parentheses. Okay, so you're going to go parentheses, and then you're going to do this parentheses, this stuff, then this parentheses. And then you'll do the division bar, and then you'll do this parenthesis, this stuff, and then this parenthesis, and then you'll do the last parenthesis to close it off uh, when you plug it into your calculator. That's that's if your calculator can't take a big uh, a big expression like that. If you have a really simple calculator, then you're gonna have to do one thing at a time. Like I would do this, and then go one minus whatever this is, and then I would do one minus this. And actually, if I had a more simple calculator, I think I would simplify this a little bit more. The top can't really be simplified because you gotta do the 51 power first, which is crazy. Uh, let's see, 51 power. And then uh, the bottom you can simplify, it's one over three. One minus two thirds is one third. And then what you can do is you can get rid of this fraction by multiplying the top by three. And so now your new, your new expression would say 15 times 3 minus 3 times 2 over 3 raised to the 51 power. Now, if you have a simple calculator, this one will be way easier to plug in. In fact, I'm, only, I'm also going to distribute the 15. So let's go 45. Three, uh, five, 15 times 3 is 45. Uh, minus 45 
times two over three raised to the 51. All right, cool, that's, that's pretty simple to plug into a calculator. Let's do it. All right, um, let's see, got my calculator out. I'm gonna go 45 minus, mm -hmm. <laughs> two divided by three, that's our fraction. Raise that to the power of 51, and boom. All right, so what I got was 44 point, ooh, it goes nine, 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 five. So actually you can round this up to uh, 45. 